Hi! Thanks for joining us for another episode of The Win It Minute. We have a very special guest here today. This is Miss Natalie. Hi I'm so excited to introduce the world to her, um, but I'm gonna jump into a quote that she inspired in me. Because she's a teacher and she's teaching people every single day. And the quote I want to start off with is, I'm always doing that which I cannot do, so I may learn to do that which I cannot do. She's a teacher, she's teaching people, but yet she's always learning the same as well. And I want to introduce you to her That's journey. The biggest thing that I've ever learned about you is that you're always teaching and inspiring and motivating people. I've been teaching for 13 years, little ones, and I know it's my calling because I love to be there with those children when they get that first aha moment. And it gives you goosebumps just to know you helped push that. Yeah. Or, you know, me and my assistant, we helped push those children to be at the level that they are. And what a wonderful gift and what a wonderful positive thing to help little children at no matter at one, two, three, or four, begin their journey in learning. You're learning something every single day, and it's your choice to make it a positive one. 2010, January, God put this wonderful CT tech on our life and said, you need to go see this doctor. He said, yes, you have QR information. We need to do the surgery right away. And within a month, St. Patrick's Day of 2010, I had the brain surgery. I was in a wheelchair at the time, told me I would never walk again. Wow. And surgery had it, and I've been walking ever since. And then Halloween, that just passed, I had, you know, this relapse. And telling me it's from inflammation in the brain, and I've gotten back everything except my legs right now. And so that's what I'm trying to do is to get hand controls put in my car so I can get my freedom back. My mom has been a wonderful mom getting me to and from where I need to be. You know, I have to think about walking because the signals got messed up from the brain to my legs. So through therapy, I'm learning how to use my hip and core muscles to walk again. I have no feeling in my legs. So through this episode, I don't know if I'll ever get my legs back, but I'm okay with that. I've been on this journey before. I have, I know what's expected of me. I know the strength that I have, and I get my strength through my faith. And without my faith, I wouldn't be as strong as I am. And if I show my faith, and if I show my journey, it'll push others to become stronger men or women. People in my life are my inspiration, not, not me. And that's the whole point of me documenting everything on this journey right now. Absolutely. Is because there's not much out there for adult Chiari patients as there is for children. So if I can share this and help others, that's the whole point. Absolutely. Win it for others, right? Exactly. Win it for others. That's amazing to me that, you know, despite any obstacles that you have, that you're fueled by wanting to go back yeah. to help other people and that you're on the other side now, you're learning and you're always learning every day um, so that even you have to learn to be able to teach. That's and amazing. then by me learning, I can then turn around and show somebody else the same thing. So you never stop learning? No, never. Never. No matter how old you are. No matter if you're 10, 2, 15, 36, 52, 92. You're learning something every single day. And it's your choice to make it a positive one. If you could say uh, one, I guess, one piece of advice to anyone else out there that maybe is uh, going through a struggle or facing an obstacle and might want to go into the negative mindset, what could you say to those people? One thing I learned from my father-in-law, and it's one thing that's always stuck with me in my life, is that God gave you round shoulders to let it all roll off. And that piece of advice stays in my head every day. Do not let what one person says to you bother you. So that's just one person's advice or one person's comment. Don't let that make you have a bad day because yeah. no matter what, you are loved, you are awesome, and you are positive. Keep that in your mindset 24 7 and you'll never go wrong. No, thank you so much. Thank you. That's Miss Natalie's story. Go out there, check out the GoFundMe page, help support her on her journey so she can win it, so she can help win it for others as well. That's right. 
because she's out there winning it every day so that others may win it as well. Any last words you'd like to say to anybody out there? Any wet last bit of advice? Stay positive no matter what. Don't let one simple word ruin your day. You are all loved and just have fun every day. God bless. I miss you.